Good morning. I am so exhausted. I cannot deal, but we got stuff to do, guys. I'm just getting ready for the gym because that is my first stop of the day most days. But I am extra tired today because I was dreaming of work all night long and when that happens, I wake up stressed because I feel like I didn't actually get any sleep. It's not fun. It's really not fun. But it's fine. We're going to get through it. We're going to make a match later. So I'm starting my day with a protein shake. I like to do it before my workout so then I can just focus on breakfast when I get back. I'm using the bulk pea protein isolate. So I'm really picky with my protein powders. I don't like to use whey because it can trigger acne. I don't like to use anything that has too much sugar in it. So like all of the flavored protein powders or anything that has dairy or like casein in it. Um, because that can be very inflammatory as well. So this is what's worked best for me. And it's also vanilla flavor, but it's super low in sugar. And for pea protein, it actually tastes pretty good. And then while I'm drinking my protein, I'm just waiting for it to di digest before I go and work out. I am going to do some more of my French. I do about five minutes every other day on my phone on Duolingo. Nous avons deux aéroports à Paris. J'ai mon billet d'avion et je vais à l'aéroport en taxi. Okay, and let's go to the gym. So my workout was so good. I just did the Peloton today. Once a week, I'll do the Peloton on days where I'm feeling a little bit so like today, you know, I like to honor what my body needs and I'm not gonna push myself to do super intense exercise. So I did a hit bike workout on the Peloton. Once a week, I also take a Pilates class. Today's Monday, I have my Pilates class on Wednesday. And then every other day, I will do machines and a bit of cardio in the gym. So aside from a protein shake, every single day I've been making a green juice for breakfast and this just does wonders. Like the biggest theme that you guys are going to see in this video is that I really prioritize incorporating whole foods into my diet and trying to be as healthy as I can. And I feel like this breakfast is the best way to get all of my greens in. And then I go in with the Pratt Sweet Greens Smoothie Mix. So this has spinach, mango, kale, avocado, ginger, and lemon zest. All really good for you, provide a bunch of different benefits, fiber, healthy fats, and it's all gonna reduce inflammation in the body. And then I top the smoothie off with some turmeric powder. Also really good and anti-inflammatory for the body. And then I go in with pepper because pepper activates the turmeric. Top it off with water and you're good to go. And then with my green juice breakfast, I have to take my supplements every single morning and there are quite a few to get through. So I'll start with vitamin D. This is essential in the winter months so that you can avoid a seasonal depression. Then I take a silica supplement. I'm deficient in this because I did a test to see what all of my intolerances and vitamin deficiencies were and this came out on top. This is actually really good for your skin so I make sure that I'm always stocked up on this. I also take a zinc extract as well. This is amazing for your skin. Really good if you have acne prone skin like I do. I take collagen too. And then lastly, I take this symbiotic multivitamin from Ritual. So this is prebiotic, probiotics, and postbiotics in each of these little capsules, which is amazing that you get all of them from one of these because prebiotics and probiotics contribute to good gut health. And as we already know, our gut is our second brain. If you have all of your essential bacteria in here, 
and you have that good gut health, you're gonna have better hair, skin, nails. And now I'm gonna make sure I'm hydrated, drink my green juice, and then basically get on with work for the day. I'm working from home, don't have any filming to do today apart from this. So I'm just gonna be at my desk all day typing, working on a bunch of side projects, and doing it all in different time blocks. Time. The second that it hits mi midday, I am making lunch because that green juice doesn't fill you up for a very long time. So I have early lunches and I also have early dinners because I'm an early sleeper nowadays so that I can get up earlier. My lunches and my dinners are always very high protein it, and it's always pretty much centered around chicken. So for lunch I like to keep things easy. I'll typically have chicken and sweet potato in a salad or just chicken and chopped veg on the side. Today we're going to be doing chicken with broccoli as our veg and some potatoes on the side. I'm using white potatoes today. I'm normally a sweet potato girly just because they're a lot better for you but on the right occasion I'll use a white potato. One thing I've learned is as much as I want to be like a simple easy meal gal I get bored so easily and like ever since moving out on my own I just always wanted to make the quickest dish and I didn't really worry too much about taste and flavours but now that i've started to put a little bit more effort into each recipe it actually makes me more excited for the day because i always have a good meal to eat i have four potatoes because for every meal i ever cook whether it's lunch or dinner i always cook a two-person portion so i'll only end up eating half of this and then the other half i'll put in a tupperware container in the fridge and it will also be my lunch tomorrow nicely seasoned so I'm popping them into my preheated oven which is on 200 degrees and I have a fan oven and potatoes get a while to get crispy so that's gonna take like 30 to 40 minutes Okay, now all of the veg for later is chopped up. I have a bowl, but I'm gonna mix all of the seasoning in for the chicken. But first, we need to let our frying pan get nice and hot. I'm using chickpea flour for this, because for this recipe, you wanna coat the chicken in flour, but I wanna stay as much away from like refined sugars, refined flour, so chickpea is like the best kind of whole meal way to go. For seasonings, I literally just wing it. I just use my favorite, so garlic powder, paprika, salt, pepper, oregano, maybe rosemary. Give that a mix so the chicken can get evenly coated. While the chicken is frying, I'm just gonna get the potatoes back out so that I can give them a stir and then also add the veg onto the pan and season it. That's what we got so far, it's looking very good. Broccoli roast with the potatoes for the last 15 minutes. is looking like so far. You want to cook your shallots for about five minutes until they're soft. And chicken stock paste. And then you want to add in some water. I never measure anything. I just eyeball it all. And we're just going to let that simmer for a few minutes before it gets to sauce consistency. Add in the parsley and then we can start to serve. And there we have it. I just layered on that reduced sauce. I can't wait to try the chicken, but literally such a perfect lunch. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. I'm gonna sit down. I like to watch a bit of Netflix on my lunch break. 
So I'll watch something for like 30 minutes and then it's back to work to do my second time block for the afternoon. I'll then end up having a snack, doing my last work block and then dinner time. I'll testify. So it's about an hour and a half later, I ate my lunch, watched a bit of TV and then I just popped out to run some errands and now I need my matcha fix before I return back to work. I kind of have a strict rule with myself where I'll stop consuming any caffeine at around 3pm, 4pm max. So I'm just going to put some ice in a glass to prepare for my matcha. One thing about me as well is I do not drink coffee anymore. Like that is a once in a blue moon treat, like very, like maybe twice a month if that. It's literally matcha every single day because there are endless benefits to it. It's got anti-inflammatory properties, it's filled with antioxidants because it's a dried green tea. It's really good for you, it gives you caffeine, but it regulates it so you don't have like the jitters that coffee gives you and then you're not gonna have the energy crash later that coffee gives you as well. Um, on top of that, it's not addictive and it's so good for you that it literally aids in weight loss and stuff. Not that I'm trying to lose weight, like I don't calorie count, I don't diet. I just know what works for my body in terms of my intolerances. I cut out processed foods as much as I can. Everyone wants to know how I make my matcha, so I'm gonna talk you guys through it. You're gonna have a glass with ice in it. You wanna pot like maybe two to three scoops of that organic ceremonial grade matcha. Top it off with some hot water, not boiling. I like to use coconut milk for my uh, matcha. I never drink cow's milk because I have a dairy intolerance. But also, coconut milk is so good with matcha. It adds a really nice sweetness. And then, you want to get a traditional Japanese whisk. You could use one of those electric frothers. I feel like this just adds to the experience there. And you want to whisk up that matcha to make it all foamy and bubbly. And that is the perfect matcha consistency. And then all you do is top it off in your glass. Hopefully you don't spill it like I always do. Boom! Put my little lid on. This cup is actually from Amazon. It is now 4.30 in the afternoon, you guys, and look how dark it is outside. I'm getting really peckish, so I'm gonna make a little snack and a tea because no more caffeine now for the rest of the day. This is my go-to afternoon snack. I try to drink a cup of tea at least once a day. So I'm gonna sip on that while I eat my fruit and start my next time block work task. Oh, I so needed this. So let's talk about teas. My go-to daily tea is spearmint tea, and that's because it has your usual benefits, you know, it's really good for your digestive system, it's full of antioxidants, but most importantly, spearmint tea is known for its skin benefits. If you drink it consistently, like every single day for weeks and weeks and weeks, then it will help with reducing hormonal acne, which is what I suffer with. I used to be the person who like, when I got peckish in the afternoon and I needed something to eat, like, Obviously, I would grab whatever was easy, like a few Oreos, some crisps or whatever, an energy bar. And like, that's so normalized that that's just like people's go-to snacks. And I'm so glad I got out of that habit because even something that's marketed as healthy to society, like an energy bar, if you read the ingredients, the amount of sugar, like pure sugar that's packed in there is crazy. It's gonna spike your glucose levels. It's gonna cause you to break out like, no thanks. So I stick to my fruit and nuts because I feel like it actually fills me up for longer. Okay guys, tonight we are making curry for dinner. water literally all day long aside from my one matcha but at dinner time I always want a nice beverage to kind of just end the day and pair with dinner 
Okay, now that we've got it all nice and chilly, the way that I make this into a nice beverage without consuming too much sugar is water drop. I actually collabed with them a while ago and I've been obsessed ever since. Like this is literally such a part of my daily routine. It's much later on in the evening. I'm actually prepping for bed. I did a bit more work put away all the dishes and stuff, was doing my laundry, and I am very tired. I wanted to show you what I would typically have after dinner as a dessert. I actually didn't have it today because I wasn't feeling it, I was so full. Um, as a rule of thumb, I try my best to stop eating at eight most days. I used to take intermittent fasting really seriously. It just doesn't really make sense for my current lifestyle. Um, but what I do to help is just to stop eating as early as possible because I start eating every day at around 8 a.m. So that means at least I have like a 12 hour fasting window. But when it comes to dessert, she is my best friend. It's high in fiber, it's gluten free, it's not got any palm oil in it. And popcorn just keeps you full for such a long time. So that's why this is my favorite snack. But I would say this is probably my go-to when I need like a little something sweet after a meal. The Lint 70% dark chocolate, so good. I wasn't in the mood for either of those, but I do make it a priority every single evening before bed, like 30 minutes before I'm about to go to sleep, to drink a Beam hot chocolate. I collabed with them a while ago as well, and it changed my life, literally. When I read about them, I was like, I am gonna love this. And I well and truly really do. <laughs> so good for you. It's got magnesium, melatonin. It's basically going to ensure that you are put into a deep sleep all night and you wake up with no grogginess. Using one of my favorite mugs. This is from Amazon. Oh, it just smells amazing, guys. Like, even though it's low in sugar and it's a healthy hot chocolate, it tastes exactly like a normal hot chocolate. It's such a vibe, especially for like romanticizing these winter nights. So I'm going to do some reading in bed and that way my hot chocolate can cool down and I can actually drink it peacefully. And then I'm gonna get ready for bed and knock out. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you have any requests, please comment down below and let me know. But I'm gonna go get ready for bed, so I'll see you in the next vlog.